Hello there, humans, hippies, earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it, so welcome back to channel. I'm Bushka, and today is the long awaited, if you me, <laughs> video on the 20, T26A5 Sheriff. Reason I'm laughing at that is because I actually did. I mean, I've done a lot of videos over the years. Uh, I, I This thing got released, and I didn't realize it had been released. I was playing it on live uh, before it was released so I could get footage for a video, right? And then I was like, okay, when they release it, I'll I'll do the video. And uh, I popped into Discord earlier and I was like, have they released the sheriff? When are they going to release this sheriff? What's going on with this sheriff? And yeah, it's been released for a while now. <laughs> I missed it. I just missed it. Uh, I, but I really loved it. I love the tank itself. Um, and it was, uh, you all know, the things that I love are tanks that are different. And this is a really weird tank. Uh, and it's odd because it's actually, it looks like so many other tanks. It's got a lot of T-32 about it, but the front of it and the and the kind of way it drives and wiggles makes me feel a little bit like a heavy M46 pattern. Uh, it's got a low alpha gun. It's got a really weird 240 alpha uh, number. And yet it's got a high pen gun on a heavy with 10 degrees of gun depression. And it's got a lot of the T-32's turret, but it doesn't have any of the T-32's um, surprisingly bouncy chassis. Uh, I'll give you the numbers on that now. I had this earlier. So the turret gets up to around about uh, 330 millimeters in points. Where the T-32 go crazy is, it, it, people don't realize this, the T-32 has a crazy strong lower glacis. It's 223 millimeters square on, right? If you angle up the T-32's lower glacis, you can get up to the 240s very, very quickly. But the thing about the T-32 is it's got one of the strongest turrets in the game. Okay, that's obvious, right? But so much of the T-32's turret is surplus value. Uh, by that I mean you can get 500 millimeters of armor on parts of it up to 320 and 80 and 400 and 653 and like none of those are, are figures that like it's great having all that turret armor but so much of it is just surplus value so it, it plays it plays very slow okay uh, this is a tank that has really good turret armor but it's not the surplus value that you get on the t32 parts of it will get over 300 millimeters but a lot of it is is mid 200s to low 200s and that's enough at tier 8 to be red uh, that's that's my real point with this tank is it's a very very interesting tank in terms of it just does enough at so many different spots to be really good. Uh, and that's that's one of the reasons why I find it quite, quite uh, compelling to play. I really, really like this tank. Um, it's got the same kind of feel as a Super Pershing, but it may be even a little bit quicker, it feels like. It's got the same weaknesses that most American tanks have, namely, um, like, your buttocks are 50 millimeters which is not good um it has more dpm like it has medium field dpm 2500 dpm which for a, a tier 8 heavy is exceptionally good especially with this much turret armor uh its pen is 220 millimeters of pen that's the kind of ap pen you have on a canavan um it's and, and the bl9 on the is3 it's you know, it's amazing to me that I can sit here and talk like this sometimes and all these numbers are in my head and I'm like, I never even thought that there was anything called a BL9. And then I, I can't forget that, it, you know, there's 225 millimeters pen running around and that kind of thing. It just, it just spews out of your brain. Um, so the turret looks like a T-32's turret, but look at the way it moves. That is not T-32-like. What I found was... I played it without looking at all the numbers. I played it just stock un unseen to see how it felt. And I felt like, wow, this is a tank that if you can drive a standard turret based heavy tank, you're gonna have a really good time with this because what it does do well is bully the crap out of tier seven mediums. Uh, if you can get this thing as a heavy to the flank with 1500 hit points, 2500 DPM, and, and it, it's an, like the turrets, unpenable by you know anyone that's in a comet or a t43 it's going to be so hard for them to pen that turret you can really put the hurt on and i won a lot of games in this tank a lot I, i'll tell you what my numbers were in this um because they were surprising i i wasn't really doing it to win um i was just doing it to drive it and to see how it went and it went 
really, really well. It was just such a strong contender for me. Uh, its ability to get to the flanks, and that's something that I love doing. Um, anyone that's been watching the channel for a long period of time would know that I love tanks that can get... Oh, wow. I only played 12 games, but we won... Uh, we won 11 of them. <laughs> It's only 1,600 average damage, which is not high, but the way I did it, you can see this is a heavy tank. And I'm just treating it like a medium because that's exactly how it plays. Hey, it plays like a medium tank. And yet it's got so many of the characteristics and traits. And that surplus value thing is something I can't hammer home enough. So you have 10 degrees of gun depression and you have, like the payoff for that is you don't have the T-32 super heavy turret, but you have enough. Like the T-32's turret has... At times, 300 millimeters of wasted armor profile. Like, if you'll get firing on by someone who can only, f like, a, a Comet can fire 208 millimeters of APCR pen, right? And you're in a T32, and he hits your turret on a 680 millimeter uh, weak uh, strong point. Like, all that, that 400 millimeters of armor that you're paying for with mobility and stuff is completely wasted. And did you see how many bounces I got on the turret then? Like, this is a tier 8 game, and people are shooting that turret. Um, yeah, 252, spot that. <laughs> 252 does a really good job here. Like, he doesn't get angry or anything. He, he just rolls forward and gives us some shots. Like, what a great bloke. Um, so, play it like a medium, uh, if you do get a hold of it. And you'll really reap reward. Like, no one wants to be running into this thing on a flank. Uh, think of how good the turret on a Type 59 is, right? It's got the same gun depression as a Type 59. Eight degrees of gun depression. And yet, it's got 1,500 hit points and a, just as much DPM, you know? Um, in fact, it's got more DPM. Excuse me. Well, big lunch. More DPM than a lot of the Tier 8 mediums, uh, which is pretty crazy. What it doesn't have is the Alpha. Like, it's a weird gun number. 240 alpha on a gun is is quite an odd one and um for a heavy tank like it's a 90 millimeter gun uh the 105 millimeter on the um t32 does and it, it i can keep comparing it to the t32 because in terms of aesthetics that's the tank it looks the most like but it's it's not really like the t32 at all apart from that it's an american tier 8 heavy that's got a very good turret uh, it's mobility, for instance. T32 does 35 kilometers an hour, okay? Um, this does 40, so it's five kilometers an hour faster. But it's it just feels much, much faster in terms of, like, the mobility just feels faster. I can't explain it. It's and I, The reason I find it very funny is that I did this video i played it without knowing the numbers and the numbers don't really make it sound like it's heroically better mobility wise and obviously you've seen me moving around in it it's not crazy good but it's pretty good i mean you can see that turret that that turret he got the upper part of my um upper glacis there i overextended um that was my fault not the tank's fault he hit either the just under the turret ring i think um, where you're going to be running at about 200 millimeters max, especially if you're underneath them. That's a, a bad place to be. That's, um, and that's, that's re really why I like it. It's a, it's an oddball. It's a bit of a Frankenstein. Uh, I, so I really enjoyed this tank and not the least of which, because you know, who doesn't love an interesting old wild west themed tank? And I'm, I'm begging this dude right now not to bleed. Just wait, just wait for me. Just don't bleed. Don't be visible. Don't be visible. Just hide, man. You can see me coming. Please, just don't be... Get behind a rock or something, but don't just be sitting there open because we're going to get screwed. And obviously, you know, it doesn't work. And uh, and things get a little bit grim. Um, but we do a good thing. Uh, we use this hit point pool, that uh, T28 of ours, and we manage to get enough shots in. And I'm just moving, jiggling, wiggling. Go to the heat. Uh, it does have heat, which is nice. Heat's good. Heat works for all occasions. Everyone loves a little bit of heat. And you get 265 millimeters of pen on your heat. That's another thing. Like 221 millimeters of pen. The poor old T32 is 198, which is... And uh, it's, it's APCR is 245. I mean, I'd rather have 221 on the AP. That's a, a brilliant number, hey. And with that AP, you get you get plenty of output. It's, it's really good. Uh, so this last game... Obviously an interesting one. Uh, we've 
manage to put ourselves in a position to pick this one up. Uh, it's going to need to be a Kolobinovsky to get it across the line. Um, I'm just moving and shaking because I am very, very worried uh, <laughs> that they're going to pop along. I know the Tiger one has plenty of... Uh, that's what I was worried about. As soon as I started rolling up, and I decided just to not even try and angle there, just so I could get to this corner first, because I do have a lot of DPM and hull down ability. And there we go. And that was what we were looking for. And if we could just put one through the turret of the... Here's the game winner. Right there, baby. Get it, get it, get it. Got it. The Sheriff is in town. Uh, I don't even think that was a mastery. It was a solid game. Solid game and a Kolobinovsky. First class, 3.5K. Look after yourselves, boys and girls. Uh, it doesn't make a lot of money, it doesn't seem like, but it is a fun tank anyway. And uh, just, yeah, get involved in that KV2 competition. If you want to know what that's about, there is a KV2 competition going on. Higher score, jump on my Discord server and leave the game there and Fizzy will sort you out. Until next time, look after yourselves and stay safe on Z Battlefield. Bye for now.